ChatGPT can actually play an impressive amount of games, but it can also code them with you too. You can play some of the classic games straight off the bat, or the AI can take on new storylines and produce games tailored to you with detailed characters, graphics and images. You can even describe your game idea to ChatGPT and with some guidance spin up a working web app to play. I've been interested in AI games for some time and I've built up a collection of prompts I've made that can be played as they are or easily adapted. I'll show you some of the games that ChatGPT is good at, give you some that you can customise yourself and show you how to make your own browser game from scratch, all with no coding. Stick around until the end and I'll let you know how to get hold of all the prompts found in this video. I've split the games and this video into what I believe are the four main categories. Text games played out in the chat itself, ASCII games using symbols to make graphics, games with generated AI images, and roleplay games that allow you to play detailed custom storylines and interact with characters tailored to you. Finally, I'll show you browser games you can actually get ChatGPT to write code for and then play. Let's get started. The first type to show, and definitely the most basic, text games. ChatGPT is incredibly good at guesswork games like 21 Questions, where it can figure out any object you have in mind by asking a series of yes or no questions. You can swap the roles too. We can get the AI to pick an object and give us clues until we figure it out. We can also play around with quizzes completely tailored to our chosen topic and ask at length. But these are just text games. How can we make the games more detailed, more interactive and a bit more fun? Well, we can do that by getting ChatGPT to accompany the text with graphics. In doing so, we open up a lot of turn-based board games like Snakes and Ladders or a good game of Noughts and Crosses. You can also play Battleships or get a round of chess in. If we want, we can even try our luck at a game of our own custom slot machine, finding out just how high we can get our own balance. Now it's worth noting that ChatGPT isn't a great artist. So while the ASCII games can be fun and a lot more interactive, it's not quite the same as playing games that have something more to look at. But what if ChatGPT could include AI generated images? With the use of a custom URL to generate an AI image in the chat, we can do exactly that. This process of adding images first came when someone on my Discord shared a game where you escape a maze. The game was pretty fun, with the user choosing the direction to head in and the AI describing each room and giving hints as to where to head next. I wanted to play with the prompt and expand on it, and after adding some RNG to get the user a chance of actually escaping, I wanted to try and generate an image of the room itself. The result was a description of our current location that could be fed perfectly into generating an AI image, adding a whole level of detail to what was already a fun game. But this isn't just limited to mazes. Most text games I play around with now include images. For example, I made an Escape from Tarkov style game. Dumped in the middle of the map, the AI will describe where we are, then we can loot our surroundings and attempt to make an escape. With the accompanying images that are actually accurate, the game works well. I also improved it by using symbols to represent our backpack and keep track of the items we loot along the way. Adding images is pretty simple. We get the AI to write a descriptive prompt and then feed this into an image generation URL. In my document, I've included the prompt that you can just simply copy and paste into your own one. As you can imagine, this can be done for all sorts of topics and games meaning we can do stuff like making quest-giving AI based on our favourite MMO. If the thought of making your own game sounds like fun, then roleplay games are a good way to do it. ChatGPT is a natural at launching new games of D&D and can lead impressive campaigns with no need to teach it how to play. But don't stop there, roleplay games allow you to control every aspect of the game, like making an escape room set in a very niche location relevant to you. Or a detailed adventure game based in your hometown. If you want something more interactive, then ChatGPT is amazing at character roleplay, like making sim games that focus on social interactions and forming relationships as part of an ongoing narrative. These again can be coupled with images to give a face to the characters you're talking to. It really is limited only by your imagination. To make roleplay games, we simply have to give the AI some details. A brief of the game, what happens each turn, how the AI should act, how the user will act, and how the game can progress. With a few instructions, almost anything can be turned into a ChatGPT game. Like this only up game, made with a single prompt. Finally, let's look at actually coding games with ChatGPT. Impressively, the AI can write web app games in minutes. 
The quality often comes down to how detailed your explanation of the game is, but straight off the bat the AI can spin up basic working versions of games that already exist. Take Flappy Bird for example. With a small prompt I was able to make a decent take on the game with placeholder graphics. I could go ahead and adapt this myself to finish the game, or continue working with ChatGPT to improve it. But there are also games that don't exist and the AI just won't know how to make it. For this you do have to sit there and give lots of details if you want to get a decent version first time. Explaining to the AI what you want the game to look like, what the rules of the game are, what the controls are and so on. It requires some effort and you do have to spell out every little detail, but by the end the results can be amazing, with no coding needed. It's also a lot of fun just sitting there and chatting to AI, spinning up multiple versions of a game you have in mind. This idle clicker for example. No coding, only time spent chatting with AI and testing as we go. In the document I've also included a prompt that will allow you to develop a game with ChatGPT using an easy to follow process. Be sure to give it a try and leave a comment below letting me know what you made. If you're looking for any other prompts or games in this video you'll find them in the description below or I'll keep updated versions of them on my discord. I'm probably online right now chatting about AI. If you enjoyed the content or played any other games be sure to like the video and drop a sub. It helps the channel and lets me know to create more like this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one soon.